Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET how to search or filter records from drop down list control and display data into a grid view control using entity framework. And here we got the final output. I am selecting the employee name Chetrika. See, we got the employee name Chetrika details. The ID is 8, name Chetrika, email and salary. If I select Ben, see here we got the Ben details. Let's check in the table also of the Ben details. The Ben, Ben23 at gmail.com and the salary is 1250. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new ASP.NET project. Codify new project. I'm selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET framework is 4.6.1. The project name is Entity Framework Drop Down List Search. Click OK. And from the templates, I'm selecting Empty. OK. And here the project is successfully created. First in this project, I am adding adword.net entity data model. Right click the project name. Add. adword.net entity data model. I am selecting that one. The model name is search. Okay. And from the model contents, I am selecting the first option, next, creating a new connection and my SQL server name. After adding the SQL server name, I am selecting the database name. Sample DB is my user database, I am selecting that one. Test connection is succeeded, ok, ok. And this is the connection string of this sample db.dbo and I am saving this connection string in the web.config file and the connection string name is the sample db entities. Click next. I am selecting entity framework 6.x. Next. From the database objects, I am expanding the tables as well as the dbo. For this demo purpose, I am choosing employee table click finish and here we got the entity model of the employee which contains four columns ID name email and salary after adding the entity model of the employee next one I'm adding one web form to this project open solution explorer I'm minimizing the references folder right click the project name add new item I'm choosing web form. The web form name is drop down list search. Click add. And here we got the source page of the newly created DDL search.aspx page. Now between the form tag, I'm adding center tag h1 search filter records from database with drop down list using entity framework after the horizontal line i am adding two controls one is the drop down list and the second control is the grid view control open toolbox I'm expanding the standard folder drop down list control I'm selecting that one and the second control I'm adding the grid view control toolbox I'm minimizing the standard I'm expanding the data folder grid view control that's it we have done the designing part which contains one header tag one drop down list control and one grid view control right click the source page 
a view called now in the page load event if not is post back sample db entities as d is equals to new sample db entities sample db entities is my connection string name I'm creating a variable employee details is equals to I'm adding a query here from C in SD dot our table is the employees select new C dot ID comma I want to bind the name column in the drop down list control C dot name drop down list one dot data source is equals to our data source is the EMP details we are getting the employee details from this variable EMP details dot to list method drop down list dot data text field is equals to name the column name of the table drop down list dot data value field is equals to id which is the auto generate column drop down list one dot data bind method and the last one i'm adding a default text value to the drop down list control which is a select employee name drop down list one dot items dot insert method which takes two parameters first one is the integer parameter which is an index zero i'm adding the item will be the first item and the list item is between double quotes select employee that's it we have done the coding part to bind the employee name column to the drop down list control before writing the search functionality let's check the output the employee table is binded to the drop down list control or not google chrome and here we got the output of that code the employee name is binded to this drop down list control now let's check the employee table in my SQL Server database. And this is the employee table which contains four columns. The name column I have bounded to the drop down list control. So my next aim is when I select any particular employee name, I want to display that employee record in a grid view control. Let's finish the rest of the code. And stop debugging switch to the design mode design mode and notice that the drop down list control there is a small button click that one enable auto post back check that one it's very important we need to enable auto post back property to this drop down list control after enable auto post back double click the drop down list control and here we got the selector index changer event. Now, what I'm doing, I'm adding the sample DB entities at the top. I'm creating the integer variable, integer EMP ID is equals to drop down list one dot selected value dot to string method we need to convert this drop down list value to the integer type convert dot to int 16 i'm declaring a variable employee result is equal to now in this variable employee result i'm adding the search query from C in SD dot employees where C dot 
id dot equals this equals method takes the integer object so here the employee id i am adding the object here select new c dot i want to display id comma c dot name comma c dot email comma c dot the last column is a salary after the search query i'm binding the data to the grid view grid view one dot data source is equals to emp result dot to list method grid view one dot data bind that's it we have done the complete coding part now it's time to check the results on the browser google chrome and here we got the final output i'm selecting the employee name chetrika see we got the employee name chetrika details the id is 8 name chetrika email and salary if i select ben see here we got the ben details let's check in the table also of the ben details the ben ben23 at gmail.com and the salary is 1250 that's it